Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Uh, got Chico here in the car cave. Um, sorry, I got to use the same background, but I've been kind of stuck in this corner here, so I hope you don't mind. I, um, I'm only going to do two cars. Um, car show is in Philadelphia, annual event. Now that COVID's over, I'll be going to the car show tomorrow, so maybe I'll get some good... Uh, video a couple of videos maybe of something cool down there um, but anyway we got snow coming too but we're still going to the car show um, I, I I got a lot of subscribers I never expected you guys I get I got so many questions uh, asked of me I, I don't even know where to begin uh, all you guys are very kind um, I'm just a collector like the rest of you guys. Um, maybe I'm, I'm a lot older, but uh, I'm a collector, not, not the same. Uh, my children are, are, are grown and off and girlfriends and grandkids and so forth and so on. So um, me and my cars is, is it. So um, And uh, just to kind of bonify this, <laughs> if you guys don't mind. This 64 and a half Mustang, actually, I didn't even dust this off when I set it down here. I keep it in my bedroom. Uh, when, when I couldn't work on cars no longer, I was in a bad place. I was, I was uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do because uh, I was in a lot of pain. I couldn't bend over, so... Um, anyway, I uh, got involved with the family business and believe it or not, I was doing some clean outs and I found that car. And when I found that car, um, I was only collecting Hess trucks at the time. And um, I found that car and took it home and uh, a friend of mine uh, came by, asked me if I wanted to go out uh, for a ride. And I said, sure. I said, where are we going? He said, to a flea market. And I said, cool. And when he took me to the flea market, I found out that I met a very good friend of mine, his name is Jimmy, and on this table are all die-cast cars. A lot of these cars in this, in this, let me pick up my pointer. If I don't, I'm not sure if you can see this, but there's Speed Racer there, uh, the Monkey Mobile, all those cars are in my collection. Uh, I, I got at this open air flea market. Uh, even this motorcycle here is in my military room. All these, let me get up to the camera here. So all these cars, and I just kind of went bunkers, uh, just rows and rows and rows and rows of cars. And um, the guy's name was Jimmy. He was a very good friend of mine. Here's the Munsters. This is more than 20 years ago, uh, at least 20. So there's the Munster coach I got from him. And I think Grandpa's drag. Oh, there's the uh, Dukes of Hazard right there. That was the Ertl one, the first one I bought. And um, this, this started to venture off. And this poor woman has passed on many, many years ago, but she had every Hot Wheel car that meant anything to anyone. God, if you could have met this woman, I got a couple of, at least a half dozen special cars from her. So that's how uh, I got into die cast cars. And uh, like anything, if you, if you really like it, I didn't know I was going to like it that much, but that, that's how I got into die cast cars. I just needed something to do and it, it felt good and uh, and I just kept doing it so there you have it all right um, I got um, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit I'm just gonna take a quick peek here so I got all these cars down here you we're, we're not looking at all these cars now you guys know most of them you know most of them anyway but I do have one car over here I want to talk about that I don't get to talk about too much I kind of talk maybe so let me bring this bad boy up. 
and, and put it here for you. Let's see if I can turn this a little bit more. And uh, I'm going to let it spin for... Wrong button. I'm going to let it spin for a second, see if I can get it in the frame here. And uh, the car we're looking at here, Fast and Furious. This car didn't have a big, big presence in the movie like some of the other cars did. Uh, but it was in the, as a matter of fact, I think I, I've got all the Fast and Furious movies laying right, right over here on my, in front of my TV. Um, it's the one where Letty uh, uh, um, was missing. Uh, she, uh, she rolled the car over, and I believe that when they, uh, Dominic was trying to find her, and then he had this flashback of what happened to her, and it was this car here. Um, I'm not sure if this car showed up in some other scenes uh, at the end when uh, Toretto was um, uh, sitting and wanted to race somebody, but the car, the car is definitely in the movie. Um, it also has a slew of features. The car is by GMP, and it's one of 1,302 cars. 1,302 right there. If you can see it, maybe you can, maybe you can. Um, but there's something unique about this car. And um, I'm, I'm going to talk about the car first. This, this car is really, really gorgeous. I'm going to stop it from spinning as soon as she comes around. I can feel the button here. Here we go. So, beautiful car. It's gray, metallic, and uh, it checks all the boxes. You got uh, your chrome trim uh, around your roof line. You got uh, your chrome trim around the windows. Uh, it's not painted. This is chrome trim. Um, so we have uh, custom uh, wipers that are on here, black. Um, the uh, car is completely carpeted. There's no spare in the trunk, but it is carpeted. I'm not going to just pick it up, but it's, it's a great carpet in there. Uh, the interior, very nicely done. Um, it's gray. It's, it's got the, the floor mats in there. Floor mats are in the front, not in the back. Uh, very well done, uh, very nicely uh, well done detailed. Um, also, uh, we have the uh, calibers that can be seen through the wheels, of course, as custom wheels, drilled rotors, slotted for racing. Uh, also, one of the things it has here, if you notice this door here, and give me a second, you'll notice now that the window is up. Can you see that? It actually has the it actually has the weather stripping that would be because this is a seventy. Believe me, I know uh, for cars that had uh, the quarter window and the uh, had a weather strip that would meet. And uh, when new cars, when I was working back then, the worst thing you had was air uh, would whistle. It was uh, anyway. Uh, it was. A chore getting some time getting them squared away. Um, also, uh, the quarter windows. Uh, the quarter windows I keep in the trunk because I like to keep keep them out. You can you can put the quarter windows in. It has the weather strip on it. Like I said, I think you can see it now. And I keep that uh, in the trunk. Oh, I meant to show you. So the. The quarter window goes right there. Uh, the back of the car, the uh, gas, the, the license plate flips uh, back so that uh, you know you can put gas in the car. Anyway, it's, it's spring loaded. Um, but what makes this car so special? Number one, it has a, a really really nice, but uh, has a very nice Hemi under the hood. Very nicely done, has a Hemi. It actually says Hemi on the air breather. They have it printed on there, and I doubt seriously if you're gonna get a shot at seeing that. But um, the thing that makes this car so cool, and I'm gonna flip it over for you so, so you can understand, this car must weigh about 
five pounds. It's it, it, of all the cars I have in here, this is the only one that weighs. And why does it weigh? Well, they made it. It has solid steel springs. It even has the steel brackets that go on the springs. And then the arch in the springs. I don't know if I can get the, get an angle. Uh, I, I'm not going to try. I left the window down. One second, guys. Here we go. So it has a heavy arch on the uh, spring. So when the car sits down, it needs something to weight to, to push it down. And it, it, it just weighs a ton uh, in order. But um, th there's more to, to that than meets the eye. So we have powder coated if you turn the wheel. Uh, the dry shaft rotates. Um, so we have standard springs in the back, but yet we have uh, a custom cross member with coilovers in the front. You'll notice there's no torsion bars uh, to uh, tighten up and adjust your height. It's all coilovers on here, a complete custom front end on the car. Um, and uh, the mufflers, uh, the, the body of them, they're powder coated, uh, they're black. Um, you have chrome trim around the, the side markers, which, which, uh, add immensely to, um, the car's presence. And, uh, it's a fantastic model. Um, if you get a chance to get this in your collection, this is 1,000, it looks like 1,002. Uh, on there um, but uh, yeah like I said this thing weighs a ton and it's uh, I do have a vehicle that has completely metal suspension from auto art and it, it doesn't weigh anywhere near this 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 is crazy how much it weighs so uh, I thought you might find that interesting uh, about the car and uh, like I said it has a, a lot of great features You'll enjoy it uh, if you can still find it or get it. And um, <laughs> before I move on to my, my, my other project, um, I don't know how many of you guys, because the first place I ever worked for was a Chrysler dealership. On the side of all Chrysler cars, there's an emblem right there. Chrysler puts these only on the right side of the car, and I never figured out why. This is the very first Charger 66. 69 Charger, it's right there. This is from the movie Christine, it's right there. Fast and Furious, it's right there. And even when the body style changed, it's right there. I, I don't know why they did that. I have yet to understand why. I'm not exactly sure. I don't think they do it on the newer cars, but, uh, and I don't really know when they stopped doing it. But from 60 up to, um, well, at least up to, I think, what is this, 71 Roadrunner, maybe 72? Um, I believe this is a, if they can make the print any smaller, but uh, I, I think this is a 71 or 72 uh, Roadrunner. This has a, um, a very nice uh, model. And like I said, I wasn't going to get into uh, doing all the crisis, but... Uh, I just thought I'd bring up, uh, bring that up about the little mark, you know, on the side. Maybe if you had a lot of crises, you're going to run, run and go check them now. Um, I got another model. Uh, I want to show you this is really what I want to talk about. You ready? Here we go. This thing is, I'm just going to say it, it's cherry. It's got flames, and I love it. Uh, here's some of what it looks like. Uh, 
I was, I was sitting here uh, going through, uh, uh, this is from GMP, sitting here going through, uh, looking for maybe something, I wasn't sure what, and this thing popped up. I don't even know if I can get the lighting right to even uh, begin to show you how beautiful this thing is. I'm going to bring it back a little bit, and I'm going to roll up to you a little bit. But... Um, this thing is gorgeous. Uh, this is this is this is one of 666. I'll look at the number under there and tell you what this is. Here's the back of the car. And we've got ghost flames back there, very nicely done. And of course, as you can see, I got my cool flames here. The detail on this engine is fantastic, and I hope you guys are going to be able to see it. Um, the one thing that uh, it didn't say on the box, I had to find out, and thank goodness I didn't break anything. You actually have to turn these handles in order to get the door open. So I'm going to do that right now. There we go. We got that. It's scary because they're so small. So I'm going to turn this one. I'm scared to put too much pressure on it. I can, I can see me breaking the thing. There we go. I'm, I'm being extra careful. I'm just, it's brand new. So the, the detail inside this thing is, is phenomenal. So we, we've got, I guess we've got to work our way. I'm going to see if I can change the light a little. Uh, it has a removable piece for the sunroof. This is this flying eyeball here. And that gives you, I'm going to open up the trunk. And I'm going to bring it around. Also, uh, it has, uh, since this is a 32, uh, it has that uh, little uh, vent that opens up on the cow. I'm going to tilt it up so you can see that. So right here, uh, this opens up. I can push that back down. And now it's closed. Uh, it, we actually have a gauge here, but it's so small. We have the dual carbs, the blower, the Hemi engine. Uh, it says Mopar on the valve covers. I'm going to turn this down so you can see. Uh, see, um, the windows are tinted yellow. The windshield is clear here, here. The door, the, the tinted yellow. I don't know if this light is making it too bright. Um, you can see your quick change rear. It has a, it has a pan, it has a pan. I'm gonna tell you what number this is right now while I got it up. It's 508. Uh, so it has, a, it has a belly pan. This is your quick change rear here. Let me open this up. You gotta, you gotta see the inside of this thing. It has all, so we have gas tank here as well as we got a small tank up, up here. We have uh, all kinds of stuff going on. So the battery is here. I'm gonna see if I can tilt this. I'm, I'm gonna tilt it this way so you can, so you can see the seat belts. It's got the racing seat belt. Uh, we have the battery here, a tank here. You can so you can see through here the the axle in the back. I'm gonna bring it around and bring it over. The name of the car is Rat Fink, which is really cool. You can see the rat right there. Um, it has oh here it is. That's a cool sticker. It comes with. When I was a kid, um, I'm, I'm getting hoarse. Give me a second. When I was a, a kid and I built AMT models, we're going back to the 60s. I think I built every AMT car truck model they ever had. I loved AMT. I almost didn't buy anything else but AMT. And... Um, uh, we would, we would, uh, they had uh, Big Daddy Ross, and then the, we didn't have YouTube back then. We had magazines, and and we would 
and try and make our cars look like this. You had pr uh, professional model makers, but everything was in a magazine. And you would get the magazine, and you would wait for it to come out, and you would see what's new in the world of models, and hustle off to the uh, five and dime, uh, five and ten is what they used to call it. Uh, Woolworth uh, was big. Woolworth back in the day. Uh, I don't know if I can say what equates to Woolworth, but that's uh, that was the store back in the '60s. So you know, but this car is really cool, as you can see. Um, the um, so different. So you got aluminum panels on the doors. I want you to get a load of the tires and the wheels. Um, it has a support for the trunk here. Uh, it has a little sticker that says Rat Fink right there. And then it has it on the on the trunk for you right there. The only thing that I find hard to deal with is uh, they, they have a fire extinguisher bottle right here next to the seat. But if you were going to drag this car, I don't know if I can make that show up, but the transmission is right here, and that leaves the dry shaft right there. And if you want a line lock and let that thing go, the haul ass down the track, I certainly wouldn't want to be next to that thing just in case that U joint wants to go. I'm trying to get this right, guys. There we go. And a little bit further. So um, I just got this. I'm real happy with it. I'm going to close these doors. You heard them lock. I'm going to get my little eyeball here and put that back up on the sunroof. And I'm um, going to give it a spin here. And uh, I got me, uh, I told you that there's nothing I love more than collecting these things. And uh, I'm going to be sleeping outside and I'm going to have these on my bed. I guess I have no idea, but um, I truly do love uh, uh, collecting die cast cars. And um, everybody, a couple guys asking, when am I getting in the military room? Well, I'm uh, going to the car show tomorrow. I did some cleaning up in here, and I'm, I'm half done my dusting. So I'm going in the military room. I'm honestly going to get things cleaned up and put away. I got tools everywhere. I'm not going to show it to you. Um, but this, uh, I got this from Diecast Models, uh, wholesalers. Uh, really, really cool. And um, I hope you like it. Uh, it it's it's uh, powder blue. Maybe a little uh, darker blue than powder blue. Uh, I've only got two. It's just nice to have a car of, uh, of another color. I, I'm so tired of red and black. I mean, it's like everything is red. You get a yellow car every once in a while. And red and black is nice, but you know, it's nice to flip it around once in a while. So um, I got my other 32 Roadster over there, which uh, prompted me to buy this one because... Uh, that's pretty straightforward, and, and I wanted to get something just uh, a little more radical uh, and, and really cool looking, and um, this thing really fits the bill. So I, I did some rearranging on the, the, the cabinet over there where the Speed Racer all is, so I've got it over there. I took one of Letty's cars, the Chrysler, and I put it back up there where all these guys will be going back up after I get done with this video. So, um, listen, stay safe out there. Um, uh, I think the last time I talked to you, I told you that uh, uh, there's a war on uh, and how short a space, two weeks, something can change. So um, let's just pray for those people over there as we pray for all our servicemen and women in uniform. Um, let's... Um, Let's hope that it doesn't come down to a point where we have to start defending the NATO countries. Um, I'm hoping that uh, Putin will uh, 
find a way to stop this. Uh, I, I just, and, and I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't, I don't want to get people mad at me about opinions. I just, it's just wrong. Uh, and we're going to stay with diecast cars. Uh, keep the comments coming. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, maybe give me a plug. Um, I've got some pretty cool stuff on there. Um, I'm really flattered with all the stuff. I'm not a computer geek because I'm having some of you guys. I, I can answer you one way and then I got I, I got to uh, get one of my kids or something to show me some stuff because I got to use Studio YouTube to answer you. Uh, but yet I can see you when I'm on the regular YouTube. I can't figure out why all that is yet. Uh, I don't have an answer. And I, so uh, um, I'm trying to get uh, to make sure that I answer most of you guys out there when you text me. And if I haven't, I will. I will respond to you. Um, so I'm very flattered for the kind words, as I say. So peace out, guys. Another little video from Chico White here. And um, um, stay safe. God bless. Peace out.